Hello and welcome back guys, this is Ibrahim Qureshi here and uh, today I'm going to discuss what's new in vCenter server. I have done a full video on all the features which I like, uh, link in the description below. And, uh, I have got the permission to share this content with you. Special thanks to VMware, Corey and Amanda for sharing these slides with me for creating my content. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Ibrahim Horeshi. My Twitter handle is Ibrahim Horeshi, and I have been an B expert last year and this year as well. My blog is agileops.co.tv. Be sure to subscribe to my blog and my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So this is a quick disclaimer. If you have any questions, reach out to me. So next topic, um, hardware 17. So in the new um, Hardware 17, basically what they have done is uh, they have enabled Watchdog Timer for for the VM application as well. So without a Watchdog Timer, guest OS and application does not have a standard way to know that they have crashed. So it could be used like us on the SQL or database servers. So where the application has crashed. So a watchdog timer helps by res resetting the VM if the guest OS is no longer responding. So it basically keeps an eye on the OS and it can basically re reset the VM. This is especially important for cluster application like databases and file systems. So good feature which, um, which can improve the availability of the application. Um, if the VM goes belly up, then basically watchdog timer basically can re reset the VM for you. Another thing which is come with the hardware version 7 and again this is only available if you are running vCenter 7 and running hardware version 17 is the precision check. So we know that we allow most of the VMs like potentially most of the organizations I have worked on they allow uh, the VM sorry the VMs to update the time from the ESX host which is a good way to do anyway because you just need to point your ESX servers to the NTP servers. Now what you can have is precision check which means sub millisecond timekeeping which is really awesome. So precision time protocol helps for financial and scientific application, sub millisecond accuracy, requires VM hardware 17 as I discussed, requires both an in guest device and uh, ESX service to be enabled which which is obviously how you do it it to be enabled choose between ntp or ptp which is a precision time protocol so yeah that's that's the main enhancement in the hardware version 17 thank you for watching question of the day today is what are the new features that you like comment on below and let me know guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all the new updates from my YouTube channel and my blog agileops.co.uk. Enjoy watching and keep sharing. Cheers. Bye.